This is DITW, Anatomy and Physiology, and you are watching the video on simple cuboidal epithelial tissue. Simple cuboidal epithelial tissue is an epithelial tissue comprised of a single layer of cube-shaped cells. These are similar to simple squamous epithelial tissue in that since it is a single layer of tissue, it is permeable and will be found in places where nutrients are exchanged. However, since the cuboidal cells are not flat like squamous cells, it has organelles like most cells, and are capable of creating their own proteins and other substances which can be secreted. Some areas where you can find simplified cuboidal epithelial tissue include the collecting ducts of the kidney nephrons and the primary follicles of the ovaries. The collecting ducts are tubes found in the kidneys which are responsible for the transfer and excretion of urine from the renal tubules of the nephrons. The simple cuboidal tissue lines the collecting ducts which transport urine out of the kidney to the ureters. The simple cuboidal tissue creates a simple tube that passes water, electrolytes, urea, and other metabolic wastes. Since it is a single layered simple tissue, it also allows the reabsorption of water and electrolytes back into cardiovascular circulation. Our next example details the cuboidal tissue found in the primary follicles of the ovaries. The primary follicle is an egg that is maturing during the ovarian cycle in the ovaries of the female reproductive system. As the egg, or oocyte, begins its development in this cycle, it develops from a primordial follicle to the primary follicle. This change is evident when the oocyte develops a layer of granulosa cells, which are the simple cuboidal epithelial cells which surrounds the oocyte. In this context, the cuboidal cells, also known as the granulosa cells, secrete sex steroids which help the development of the oocyte. For more information regarding other tissues, please see my other videos on my page. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up below. Please leave any anatomy and physiology questions you may have in the comments section below. And make sure to subscribe to know when more anatomy and physiology videos become available.